Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so you make sure you come back every single day. It is 8 in the morning. I'm like making my coffee, about to start my weekend morning um, work reports that take like an hour, you know? We're supposed to go to Magic Kingdom today, but we were kind of like waiting on our bugaboo stroller because we didn't know what time it would get delivered. Well, It has arrived. Meet your bugaboo donkey three. Minor exciting detail. Sarah's Chicago vans are also arrived, but she can open these when she wakes up. I'm gonna make sure my computer started and then I'm gonna open the bugaboo. Anybody remember these cups? These are actually my favorite cups of all time. They were a gift from Sarah's cousins before we moved. All right, bugaboo donkey three with years my whole life to do this. Meet your bugaboo donkey three. So I want to show you this right here. We believe that mobility, moving freely, and every journey we make should respect our planet and the people on it. Hey, right, this kind of worked out. So, yeah. So this is the duo expansion set, um, which is really great because that means that it came out of the box. Because here's actually all the components to the bugaboo donkey, and the reason why it's the bugaboo donkey is because. It's the expandable version. It's a side-by-side -side expandable version. So it actually, this is the configuration called the Mono. So it's gonna have one seat, we're gonna be a bassinet or a seat with a bag next to it. And then we can expand it out to do two by two. We obviously don't need the two by two right now because we don't have a second child right now. But just in case if they come with a newer model or they don't have the right colors, we got it in the duo format. So that actually is all the pieces and components we need for the second seat which is cool because it's in a box, so we can just put that in a closet somewhere, in a nice, neat closet, because all the different components. But now, I get to take this and put it all together. We got wheels, we got more wheels, we got a frame. Well, well, well. Here it is. Is this cool bag is what's really awesome because while it's got one baby in there and then it's just on the go so we might not even bring the diaper bag backpack as much when we're gonna have the bugaboo really easy maneuverability got a cool undercarriage good sized basket there um, this is like one of the things there's three of these things where you unclip it and then pull it apart and then it expands so you can get the second chair so then it's side by side and then that just would come out. And then this is actually what's gonna go where the bassinet is because this is our Nina Pip, Nuna Pippa car seat adapter. Excited? Very. Look how easy this is. How easy it is to convert from the bassinet. <clears throat> bassinet comes out. Little adapters for our car seat. So if we don't wanna take them out of the bassinet, or out of the car seat. Car seat, bing, bing, boom. Trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat. The whole night, whole night through. Leap scallywags with fiendish gags can make it tough on you. You better not be stingy or your nightmares do come true. Well, looky there. So. I got sweaty moving around the stroller, taking the city mini stroller out of the, the trunk of the car and putting in the bugaboo. They're like, my hair got crazy. And now I don't have a baseball hat because I forgot to grab one. So my hair's a little whack. And I'm sweaty because it's hot. 
But we're at the Magic Kingdom. We have a few goals, like we need a poo. I'm gonna go kiss our progress. Sarah just said she's had too many sweet treats today, so we might need to get her french fries. I just had like an apple and donuts and Pepsi. I wanted to get a, one of the Halloween Big Mickey cookies from the like, confectionery. I just can't even think about that right now. So, I think we need to find some Frenchy fries. Yeah. That is a nice looking view right there. And it's not even, it is hot, but it's not too, too hot for Florida Halloween. Sarah is just nine months pregnant with an all black jumpsuit on. Yeah. From a distance, I hear something very ominous. Could it be the pumpkin king? Comes our favorite dark ride. We join Pooh and his friends for a very blustery day. Under the eagle hood, the east wind created ice. Wind day. Pooh is not for food. If you ask me, he'll never reach that. Thanksgiving full belly nap. Oh yeah. Our next attraction. This will be a nice little last Carousel Progress. I love seeing people lined up for it. More people need to see the Carousel of Progress. Agreed. Welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Oh, you're in for a real treat. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day Carousel Progress was so good. So good. I feel like... We, we don't usually sit in the back row. We're we don't usually. We're usually up front and it was a nice view. I got to see a lot that I... Like I was looking in like Jimmy's room and the Halloween one and stuff. There's, There's a good. cat that I don't think I've ever seen before. We were outside of Pinocchio. We ordered some french fries for Sarah. I got a cold brew rather than a french fry for myself. Ooh. And once we get called in, it will be nice like a, a nice little break from the mask, a nice little break from the heat. Yes. Um, but then we're gonna we're go walk gonna, some more. Like, we knew today wasn't gonna be a super long day. It's again like just like soaking up the last bits of time in the park so we can get. Um, but it's been good. We've like done everything. Yeah, it's getting, it's Sunday and it is getting busy now that the park's been open for a few hours. So like, the wait times are increasing, but we, like Sarah said, we were just here to soak it out as much as we could. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing. Yeah, we didn't think we'd be back. And so it's like. I'm just like waiting for Sarah to be like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go and then start like the 30 minute trek back I to our car. I thought last night I was having pretty consistent contractions but just not just not frequent enough. This is what happens is James is already like us in personality and being a jokester and stubborn at the same time so this is karma. So here is my cold brew Jamaican I'll have to look up the name. But it's the Jamaican cold brew from Joffrey's. So we've got some crunchy fries and I've got some water. Feeling good? Remember? Shake that baby out. Remember the first day we came back after the parks opened and we yeah. came here and we got this and we were like, it feels so this good. is all we needed. There it is. Shake and Jamaican is what it's called. And it's pretty good for a cold brew. This is the cutest <laughs> wall decoration of the whole restaurant. Here we go. Going to fight with Dumbo to the big top. 
circus, ba ba big top, ba ba circus. We got sent to the right side, or stage left. And we have not gone on this one. This is the fast pass side. Since forever. Looks like we're going to go. We're totally surprised by this. This Westward Ho refreshments has corn dog nuggets and pretzels and churros. It used to have, like, this menu is always changing, but it's funny. with Casey's not being open, that's a game changer. Serve into the washroom, and it looks like we're gonna get another treat of Sally Jack and Oogie Boogie. Yes, but it's through Frontier Line, which gives me the most. Halloween vibes because my first Halloween party ever or like parade that I ever saw was during a college program during a C like cast member preview night like the dry run where you wait downstairs below Magic Kingdom until like midnight and then they let you out and it's like almost one in the morning when the parade goes and it's all only cast members in the park but we watched it from Frontierland. Here it comes. Okay. You start enjoying this, and I'll go look at those. Look. Look, what's hiding under there? That's ben Earhart, I just want you to know. That's for you. That's for you. Is the bypass still open? I think so. We can go that way out. How's the cheese? So good, I'm gonna take this tiny little last bit. And Let's be honest, you're about to dip your finger in that. I know you are. You just know it till the vlog is off. No. I think we're calling it, this is only like a three hour trip, but we're gonna call it. It's more close we to four. Time. We did, and we we saw, we didn't even realize it, we saw all three cavalcades. cavalcades. Yeah. And we had a private showing of the Hocus Pocus stage show with nobody else around. You wish. In my head, I did. Peter? He said he wasn't gonna have any and then he tried it and then he has like 10 bites. I did not have 10 bites. Oh, what's this spooky sound? Bummer, the back byway is closed now. Unless it's open just in the front for photos. Never know. Let's see, but if it is closed and if you've been there this holiday season, let us know if the Halloween statues are out. Yeah, because that's like where they usually would be. Closed, must only have been open at like closer to park open. You know, since last time we were here and we just like spur the moment went to Cinderella's, should we just like spur the moment Tony's? Oh! Just joking, we got things to do. We got people to see, people named Eve. Okay, I think this <laughs> might truly be the last time we're I here. think so, just purely based on, on Park Pass and when yeah. we have our date set with our doctor. Right. So it'll be Christmas next time we're here. The vlog is up and now I am making black bean burger mix so it's like what time is it Please. eight something <laughs> so the burgers could be potentially for tonight we kind of been snicky snacking so um I'm making that just to have in the fridge the next couple of days and Eve is barking because Peter is starting apple turnovers what are they peeled Sarah like <laughs> <laughs> oh, my name's Sarah. I'm a food blogger. I'll link the recipe that I have gone off of. I've always changed up depending on what I have or not. Look at you. My mom and Violet made these today and they sent the recipe, so we made them too. Alright, 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 alright. Look at the look at that bubbling melted sugar coming out of that. Ooh, we were FaceTiming Sarah's mom and I left them on for a little bit longer than needed be, but 
they're gonna be good. I hope they're they look like they're the perfect enough gold. Gold. They're more a little bit more brown than gold, but um, that they're gonna be like juicy on the inside because I put some of that butter and uh, mix, like cinnamon brown sugar concoction on the inside. That the outside's gonna be toasted. The inside's gonna be gooey. Absolutely unequivocally too late. It is October 25th, the last Sunday of the month. Oh, I didn't even realize it. That's crazy. <sighs> Today's quote is by Sanskrit proverb. Is a Sanskrit proverb. Yesterday is but a dream. Tomorrow is only a vision. But today well lived makes every yesterday a dream of happiness and every tomorrow a vision of hope. Sarah's just sleeping on the couch. And I don't even know where Eve is. I think she is in our room, but she is nowhere to be found. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.